and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it'd be fun to show you everything that I bought during the month of April. Um, I see quite a few people doing these kinds of videos on YouTube and I really like watching them. Yeah, so I thought it'd be fun if I made one. Also, it's like sometimes I don't like buy a lot of stuff from like one store in particular to do like a, a huge haul. So like this is more of like a collective haul of like different things that I got from different places throughout the month and I just thought it'd be interesting to like share with you what I bought and like whether I like them, whether I don't, like recommendations and it's kind of also like a favorites video too because I can tell you my favorite things of the month. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video and if you do, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below other videos you would want to see. I do have a lot of different products to show today that I bought this month so hopefully this video isn't too long but we will see. Okay, so the first thing that I have to show you is a jewelry item and I only really bought one jewelry item this month but I am obsessed with it. It is my Lisa Goslin bracelet and you probably see it a lot on like I don't know on social media I guess because like this bracelet or different versions of this bracelet are really popular so it's just like this um like super like sparkly smiley face bracelet and like their logo is like the smiley face and they have a lot of different versions of this bracelet um they have like silver gold I got silver because like I mostly just wear silver jewelry so yeah but I'm in love with it I'm happy that I got like the silver and the green one too because the green like adds like a pop of color in it and I'm really into green. Green's one of my favorite colors. The next thing I'm going to show is what clothes I got this month. And I only got two um, pieces of clothes. The first thing that I got is this shirt. It just looks like this. It's super cute, super like fun and summery. That's why I got it. It's just like a basic striped shirt. It's like um, tank top and then the back has like if you can see it has like a little like tie at the back and it's like thicker straps it's like a longer cropped shirt so it looks really good with low-rise pants and just different and also I got this from this store in Guelph where I went to university it's called the patch and they sell like different like vintage um, clothes so yeah that's where I got it from. So the next thing that I got are these Abercrombie jeans. They are the Curve Love 2000s baggy low-rise jeans. I'm pretty sure the name is something like that. But they're just like this pair of like light wash denim. And I'm super into them. I'm super into low-rise pants and low-rise denim as I said before. Especially in this light wash color. And I've never ordered Abercrombie jeans and I always hear really good reviews about Abercrombie jeans and how well they fit so I've like been wanting to try them out so I was on the site the other day and I found these pair of pants I'm not sure if these are still available because these pants were like on clearance and then they had like an additional sale on them so they might not be available but I will link other pants like these because there are other styles similar to these pants that are really cute so yeah I got these in a size 28 long because I have really long legs and typically I wear like a 27 in pants but I decided to get the 28 just based on like other reviews I was seeing and just because like it is a low rise pants but and I actually wanted to fit like low rise because some pants say they're low rise but they're actually mid rise so I just wanted to make sure they were low rise and they also like weren't too like tight anywhere else on the pants because they are supposed to be a baggy style too so I just wanted to make sure that like they're good and the thing is they are a little bit loose in the waist so I feel like I kind of would have been fine with the 27 in terms of like waist area but I feel like everywhere else might have been a little bit tighter and not exactly the look I was going for so I'm happy I got the 28 long in these pants and these are Curve Love, which I also really like. Okay, so the next category I'm going to move to is, like, beauty stuff. And, like, I do have, like, the beauty is the biggest category because it was the Sephora sale this month. So, uh, I went off the Sephora sale because, I don't know, there's been, like, quite a few things that I've been wanting and a lot of few things that I want to get a refill and stock up on that I know that I really like, so... 
I kind of just waited to buy everything during the sale because Sephora only has a sale like two times during the year. So I just like waited, bought everything during the sale and yeah. Anyway, so we're just gonna get into everything that I got from the Sephora sale first. Okay. So the first thing that I got was the Victor Rolf Flower Balm Perfume. I don't really know how to describe the scent, but I would describe it as like a florally scent, I'm sure. Like you can read up about like what different notes it has, but I really, really love this scent. It smells so good. I get tons of compliments when I wear it. So yeah, it's just like my go-to scent. So I just like, I'm just gonna get another one and turn this out. The next thing that I got was this Faded Topicals Serum and basically it's a brightening and clearing serum for like dark marks, dark marks, acne scarring, hyperpigmentation, um, stuff like that and it has like a lot of great ingredients in it. I definitely love the packaging and I just really love this product. I've, I've only been using it for like a few weeks now so I can't really like speak on like how well it's been working for me so far but i have been noticing a difference in my skin so i do feel like it is working so yeah i'm just gonna continue using this and i'll update you maybe in a few months because i feel like for products like this you're not gonna see results right away so i'm just gonna be like patient and like let you know how i like it maybe like when i finish this or like in a couple months i'll let you know how i liked this product it does have a weird smell i will say that the first time i used it i was like no immediately you know immediately you know the smell so bad um so i will warn you it does have a, like a weird smell but i since i have been using it for a couple weeks like i don't the smell like i can definitely still smell the smell but the smell isn't as bad to me anymore like the smell was definitely a lot worse smelling when i first got it but like now the smell is a lot better and a lot more tolerable okay so the next thing that i got was the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter and i wear shade 4.5 and yeah and i've been really loving this product you can use this use this product in different ways but i use it as a primer like under my other products and i really really like it, it gives you a nice very like glowy dewy base and like i have dry skin so i like using products like this that are like don't make my skin like super dry so yeah i really like this i really recommend it and then the next thing that i got was the born this way multi sculpting concealer and the shade that i wear is sand and like i don't really like wearing foundation so i just like to use concealers to like um cover up any like marks i have on my face and stuff like that. So the next thing that I got was the Refi Brow Sculpting Gel. I have no idea what the name is, but it's something like that, I'm sure. And it's just a, basically like a clear brow gel. It has like a brush and like a comb and then it has like the gel inside. And yeah, I just really like this. I really like the look of like, um, like brushed out eyebrows and like very like natural looking brows so and i just don't like the look on myself of like super like drawn on like filled in eyebrows i just like super natural eyebrows brushed out you know you know what to look i'm talking about the next thing that i got was the makeup by mario uh, eyeliner one side is the eyeliner and then the other side's like this brush so you can really like shape your eyeliner the way you want to if you want to like smudge it out make a wing it has like a side for that and then the other side is just the eyebrow i mean the eyeliner part okay so the next thing that i got was this hourglass brush and i don't remember the name of this brush but i think it's just like their vanish foundation brush i think that's the name of it and yeah i got this to like blend out my contour apply like blush like different stuff like that um then the last thing that i got from the sephora sale was my Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom creams. And if you have never smelled this lotion before, you are living under a rock, you need to go to your near Sephora or wherever else they sell these creams and smell them because they are literally like the best smelling thing ever. They have a very strong scent and they're like, I would describe the scent as like warm vanilla, like coconut scent and it just smells so good like whenever i wear this i always get so many compliments on like 
the way I smell and people ask me like what perfume I'm wearing but it's literally like this like this could be the only like scented product I use and like people are asking me like what perfume I'm wearing so I definitely recommend this this is my go-to I've been using this for years and I just love this okay so the next makeup product that I got was this Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner and I think it's called the it's called the eye color magic liner duo and I got like this blue and like one side's like a super metallic -y blue and one's like a darker like matte blue and I was inspired by Hailey Bieber to get this because if you've seen one of her Coachella looks um, she did like blue eyeliner on her like waterline and it just looked so so good so I definitely want to get it and like try it out okay so now I'm gonna move into more like beauty tools that I got because I did quite a get quite a bit so the first two things I have to show are my skinny confidential hot mess ice roller and their hot shave face razor and if you don't know I am a very big fan of the skinny confidential and the skinny confidential him and her podcast it's literally like the best podcast like if you haven't listened to it you need to go listen to whatever their newest episode is i got the ice roller and i'm so happy that i got it it was on pre-order for a while so i actually ordered it in march but it didn't come in until april so i'm just going to show it in this video um anyway so i got the skinny confidential ice roller and like i've been loving it i use it morning and night and i like to keep it in the freezer I also did order like a skincare fridge but it hasn't come in yet so once that comes in I'll be keeping this in my skincare fridge in my room so I don't have to go downstairs to the kitchen like every time that I want to use this. And because this the roller part is metal it holds onto the coolness like a lot longer than like the traditional like plastic ice rollers. And then the next thing that I got from the Skinny Confidential was their hot shave razor and it comes in a box like this but I already used it so I took it out of the box so what I like about these razors is that it comes with replaceable um, razor blades which are obviously like so much better for the environment so the next things that I bought this month kind of go together and that was my false lashes and my lasher lash a tweezer tool um, yeah, because before I would always use, um, just regular tweezers to put on lashes, but I do find, like, using a tweezers that are specifically for lashes just helps them go on a lot better because these actually have a curve in them, they're, like, bigger, and, yeah. So, these are the lashes that I like to wear when I'm wearing false lashes. I'm not wearing any today, but when I do wear false lashes, I like to wear the INV Feather Style Demi Wispies. But yeah, I really like these lashes. They're super natural looking for a false lash. So if you're looking for false lashes to try, I definitely recommend this style. And then the next thing that I got was Beauty Blenders. And it came in a pack of five, a whole bunch of different colors. And yeah, these Beauty Blenders are really good. I ordered them off of Amazon. And I just needed a new beauty blender because my old one was like literally falling apart. So I just got a whole bunch. Okay, so now we're moving into the last category. I only have two more things to show you. I feel like I've been talking forever. So let's just get into the last category. I'm just gonna call this category like more like random stuff. So one of the things that I got was this pillowcase. Um, I guess I could have taken off the pillow to show you, but yeah, I just got like a satin pillowcase just because like satin, sleeping with a satin pillowcase has so many different benefits for like your skin, your hair and stuff. And I already sleep with a satin bonnet on like every single night, but I thought this would, this would be good for like extra protection because you know, sometimes your bonnet falls off while you're sleeping. And then and the last things that I got are these disposable cameras and i just got like the fuji film quick snap regular um disposable cameras i ordered these off of amazon so yeah i just got these because like i really like the aesthetic of disposable cameras i don't know i'm really basic like that so i just wanted to get them and i feel like it's just really like fun to have memories on like different forms 
of media. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know by leaving a comment down below on your thoughts on this video. I really hope you got something out of it. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below on your favorite purchase that you made in April or a purchase that you're planning on making in the near future. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me. I have a lot of like new videos coming out very soon. Um, I already have some videos filmed that I think are really fun and exciting and different things that I've posted in the past. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Stay tuned for brand new videos every Sunday and I'll see you next time.